Chapter 7 of My Name is Maria Isabel. The Winter Pageant. Everything at school now revolved around plans for the winter pageant. The class was making wreaths and lanterns. The teacher explained to the class that try to explain um, a hack for trying to keep your, you um, hydrated while you're fasting and all it re requires is Celtic salt and um, and the water um, half a glass of water so you do that throughout the night before you start fasting you take a pinch of the salt put it under your tongue and you have the water and it has all the minerals in there to keep you hydrated and if I did mention it uh, I guess it's worth mentioning it again because it's so good and it helps to keep me because I'm really bad with drinking enough water and it helps to keep me hydrated so I'm so happy about that and then also I started doing a smoothie with the proteins that I have in the morning which is beans um, I don't usually eat meat in the morning because I feel like that would be too heavy so um, yeah I make my smoothie with all the things I've I've seen shown it in the previous days and I mentioned it in yes I think yesterday's video so I'm trying to keep track of everything um, all of my daily vlogs um, and post it as early as I possibly can but sometimes I'm just so tired um, and I can't I just fall asleep when I get home after fasting all day and then breaking my fast but another exciting thing that's happening today, well not today, tomorrow we're gonna finally gonna go as a family to the masjid to pray, um, break our fast and inshallah we'll pray, um, we'll pray Tarari. Um, after such, so many years of having little ones, we're gonna try to attempt this with Zane. I know he's a toddler, but we're gonna try to attempt this with Zane and see how it goes. I think it's great for the kids to be exposed to that environment, especially at this age where, you know, they can start in middle school and high school, start being off doing other things. We really do want them to be in that environment at this tender age. And um, I also have them doing online um, madrasat classes because they need to know you know the basics with um, Arabic and how to read the Quran and you know pronunciation of 
the surahs and all of that because we would do it when they were younger but not consistently and it would be in person and I feel like sometimes the in-person classes at the masjid they don't teach them uh, they don't have much of a, um, a curriculum where it's like a strict cur curriculum and you know they're learning a lot and it's once a week so this time is twice a week and I feel like it's more consistent and it's the curriculum is great and all those teachers are certified Arabic and um, Islamic studies teachers so I'm really happy with it and for the three kids it's about 70 75 dollars um, a month and I feel like it's a great investment and before I used to feel like it, it would be too much for them because they were younger but uh, I feel like when they're younger it's better to instill those things in them but you know it is what it is so they complain about it why do I have to do it or can't I just do it one day out of the week and I tell them nope we have to make sure it's my job to make sure you boys and girls are informed about the religion and you know everything that you need to know and you have that solid foundation so when you get married and you have your kids you you'll be set you'll be good to go and you know all of that um so something exciting that's happening today is we are going to canoon restaurant in new jersey now i forgot it Edison I forgot the town that it's in but I'm so excited because I saw since last Ramadan they had really good reviews on Facebook and everyone's raving about their steak and ribeye and whatever else red meat that they have um, so I'm excited to try that out today with the entire family uh, something that a new tradition that we started last year was to on Fridays to instead of cooking or ordering out we decided to just go to a nice restaurant to break our fast and sit as a family it's like a great way for family time and if we really like it it could be our friday restaurant because last year it was effie's effie's in um new brunswick parking is terrible there and then we discovered sofras and they're all mediterranean restaurants and the food is immaculate it's so good so if you're ever in new jersey check out their restaurant it's amazing uh, the kids love their food because they have like shrimp scampi and all of that so they have American food and they have um, the Mediterranean dishes yeah so I'm done with work it's now 3 30 ish and I am going to go home I'm gonna pray my prayers um, I couldn't pray I usually pray uh, at school or at work but um, the, since the time has changed, we spring forward an hour. Um, when I have lunch with my kids, it's not the her prayers yet. And so I'm kind of sad that I missed that prayer. And But now I miss Dohar, but before I used to miss Esther. And I would go home and make up Esther and I would get home in time for Maghrib. But now I'm missing Dohar, but I get home in time for Esther. So it's always one prayer I'm making up. Oh, this is the restaurant that I bought food from this week or yesterday. Okay, so you guys are still with me. Okay, so I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna pray and I took a nap yesterday. Um, and it was great having a nap. Well, let me turn it back around. Oh, yeah, yeah. Put it back here. Yeah, it was great taking a nap yesterday. I was so tired. I guess it's because usually on Thursdays that's when I get the most like drained by Thursday because we had parent teacher conference all week and um, the Wednesday we stayed until 8 I did a 12 hour shift but we did have a 3 hour break in between so that's when I went home and picked Sophia up, prayed and then went back but um, yeah this week it's it's been ha and then we have a lot of I have a lot of things that I need, like data that I need to collect in, um, in, at work and it's just a lot. I'm glad it's Friday and I noticed on the weekends I've been sleeping in more so I, I'm just tired and last weekend I went to the library for the reading initiative program so I think this weekend TT wants to go shopping, like eat shopping because I promised them I was going to take them to 
the outlet they want sneakers and certain clothes for like the summer for the warm weather because it started warming up i'm actually driving with my windows down because it's i think it's gonna get chillier again next week but yeah they want summer clothes and sneakers and i figured uh sneakers would be cheaper at the outlet because the sneakers that they want is pretty expensive so she wants to do that this weekend but I would rather sleep in I would rather sleep in and not um, go anywhere and just replenish myself for next week and the second week of fasting but um, something that I've been working on um, is trying to cook more often so what I do is on Friday, no, on Saturday and Sunday, I'll cook like big dishes. So we'll have leftovers for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or even Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday I will um, cook something new. But um, since it's Ramadan, I think everyone just rather me come home and cook the food right there and then, right before eating. So I figured I the most I can do is um, at least get my proteins, the meat going, wash, season, freeze it, or uh, last weekend I made spaghetti and meatballs, but what I did was I seasoned the meat, I put the, um, the, ball, the meatballs in the air fryer, and then I froze it, so it was easy to cook the following, that Monday, and then I had gotten shrimp to make shrimp taco, but we ended up doing other things. So, I, I didn't have to cook yesterday, I bought food yesterday, and now today we're going to the restaurant. So, it, it was... Say, that's not Halloween. Say Patrick's day. Patrick's day. Let me take a picture of you. Hold it up and let me take a picture of you with your picture. What's watermelon? That's watermelon. That's right. <laughs> I missed you today. We're going to go out to eat. You want to? Oh, bring out. Yes. We bring out. Yes. Okay. Are you going to go eat out with us? Okay, have a nice weekend. Yeah. Say bye. Bye. Yeah. Oh, hey, oh, my gosh. You little baby. Crayon? Oh, it's not working. Let's go get with Poppy's home. One more. Can I get a picture of you? Look up at mommy. Say hi, mommy. Hey, mommy. Hey, let's go, mommy knows. Come on. Come on. Let's go, mommy knows. Oh my gosh. Are you going to put it back? Yeah. Good job. Now pick it up and put it back. Good job, big boy. Come on, let's go. Let's see, come on, can we go please? Oh, that. This way. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Come this way. Be careful, there's cars. Yeah. Oh, I cleaned my car. Remember, my car is a little bit more cleaner today? Yeah. We cleaned it yesterday. Let's put your, your thing there. Climb up and I'll put something on for you to watch. What would you like to watch? Bear, what would you like to watch? Um, Baby Papa. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, come sit so we can go. We're gonna go to Poppy's car. Wanna go Poppy's car? Oh, no. Mommy go too. Mommy go with you to Papa's car. My shoes. It came off? Oh, How did these shoes come off? It's okay. We're going home. Sit. Mm. Sit. I put it on for you. Come on, Bominos. Everybody, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Look at the rainbow. Rainbow, rainbow. Face up in me. Thank you. <laughs> 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 